What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 40! We did it! Fine. Well, I don't know, I think 40! 52 should be better. No, 40 should be better, because now we're the longest running podcast that I've ever listened to. No, I'm just kidding. I was about to say. Um, no, but 40 is a cool number because right. it's a nice even zero, you know? The zeros are the important ones. Um, Chris, let's just start off right off the bat. Um, I'm going to mix the whole show up on you and you had no idea. Um, it's Back to the Future Day. Exactly, and it's a good way to kick off episode did you know? Four. Did you know it's Back to the Future Day? I did. Not last year, October 21st. Not the year before, October 21st. Or probably the year before that also. But no, it's this year, 2015. Today. It's October 21st. Back to the Future 2 Day. We should and, have done the podcast um, 29. Yeah, no. I was at work still. So. Uh, Chris, so, I don't know, this year, you've heard a lot of people talking about hoverboards. I know mm -hmm. we've talked about hoverboards. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about Back to the Future, and I was hearing a lot of posts about the tech they got right and the tech they got wrong. And uh, that's all good and fine, but dude, I think we can all agree that we're glad they got one major thing wrong in that movie. What's that? The fashion. Do you remember what those guys were wearing? Yes, I do. Ridiculous. They were, like, wearing 80s clothes that was all, like, super bright colored. With like ridiculous like tin hats on their head. The cars looked like cars from the 80s just with three wheels mm -hmm. instead of four. I, it was, it was dumb. It was just so, I don't know. Still a good movie. The movie was great, don't get me wrong. And they got a lot of technology things right, like the VR headset he was wearing, they got the fully automated home thing. I mean, there's a lot of stuff they got right. One of the, my most favorite things that they've created which they've been around, but there's been a, such a limited edition of them that they go for about six grand. self lacing shoes. Yes. Yeah. I w I've wanted a pair for about five years. Yeah. I'm just saying, these are really cool shoes, and now that I don't have to pay six grand for a pair... Yeah, because it's 2015 now, so everyone's wearing them. Exactly. You know, you gotta get that Marty McFly jacket he was wearing. That was the only thing that looked normal, was the jacket he was wearing mm -hmm. in the future. I'm like, what? I mean, people were like wearing like neon bow ties and stuff. Yeah. Like, what? What? And so... Yeah, we can all be mad that hoverboards aren't a thing because, you know, everyone that complains about them is a skateboarder, so they would ride one anyways. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. If a hoverboard came out, I'd be like, that's really cool. I still can't skateboard. I gotta take you out. Does me no good. No, I tried, and I've tried, and I'm just like, I waited too long to learn. Mm -hmm. and I'm too tall now. My center of gravity is just not right for learning to skateboard. Like, you could, but I would just fall too much, and I'm like, yeah. I'm not into falling, so... Done that on rollerblades. I can rollerblade like a champ, so I'll just stick to that. But um, speaking of future things, uh, Jaws 19 didn't happen. Sorry, they missed Jaws 19. Yep, they got to Jaws 4 and were like, you know what? Let's stop where we're at. Yeah. And that was at Jaws. So three movies behind, they were like, you know what? We should let Jaws just stop. Just die off. No more Jaws. That was a good decision. Um, also, they completely miss this. Star Wars is still a big thing. Where was Star Wars in 2015? Like, what were they thinking? Yeah, they're behind. By the end of the 80s, wall. I think it was pretty clear that Star Wars was here to stay. Yes. And they were just like, no, Jaws is here to stay. Which is funny, because, I mean, it's a funny joke. Mm. But, um, yeah, they missed Star Wars being a big thing. They missed the internet. Like, the internet's not a thing anywhere in that movie. Mm -mm. I heard that on a podcast. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, they, they completely missed the internet. A lot of things. Um, you know what else that they're probably going to miss? Podcast. No, the Cubs winning the World Series. Oh, man. I just... I just... I don't know. The Cubs haven't won a World Series in what, like a, a hundred years? hundred years. We're yeah. Like uh, uh, I don't know. It's just... They're doing good. They're doing good. I mean, we'll find out, what, like in a couple days, right? Yeah. What's their series at? Game 5 now? Game 6? I don't I think know. So. I don't really keep up with, with baseball. That's Rachel saying. And she's just excited because the Royals like have one more game to win and they go or something Is like that. Is that her team? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Okay, that's enough of Back to the Future, Chris. So, do you want to like just go technology or do you want to you go back to your stuff and come back around to technology? Yeah, I mean, because I've got a story that leads right into that. Okay, end. good. Let's do it. Our first story is from Anchorage, Alaska. Ooh, it's um, cold. it is cold. Well, actually, probably not right they now. They probably would appreciate Marty McFly's um, jacket. It's, it's starting to get cold right now. Um, but we have a 53-year-old pizza man. Delivery pizza, pizza. Man. pizza man. I mean, we all like pizza. They work for a little season. Pizza, pizza. Uh, probably doesn't say. I, it does not say. 
Anyways. I don't know if they have Little Caesars out there. They, they, I don't think Little Caesars delivers anymore, actually. They're all pick up. I think they're all like pick up hot and ready things now. Mm. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, but let's see here. A couple. I think you said a couple days ago we have Kenneth Felber. Uh, he he has a lot of medical bills for some problems that he has. Um, but you know he's been doing this for about 14 years delivering pizza. But he had some medical bills that he had to pay. So he got a call to uh, a church out there in Anchorage. And uh, to deliver four pizzas, who knows what kind they were? I mean, pepperoni, of course. To, to me, that's an important. That's an important. It's pepperoni thing. It had to be. It had to be. It's an important thing for me to know. But um, the church, there was a church that when he delivered it, they give him gave him a nineteen hundred dollar tip. That is one nine double zero. Yeah, they were like, were like, hey, we're gonna call this guy up, get some pizzas. We're gonna take up some money. Their goal was to like raise a thousand dollars, and they almost raised two thousand dollars. They did. They did. The goal, like like James said, the goal was set at $1,000. And um, he was blessed and was able to pay off most of his medical bills. Um, so, it, you know, there's another one, you know, in Ohio that uh, a little over $1,000 was donated by Sycamore Creek Church to a man who was broke, who was, a, you know, they delivered, you know, who delivered to them. Uh, so this is, this is a very awesome thing. Uh, uh, yeah, pizza's if, good. If I can get that big of a tip, I'd be very happy. I think anyone would be that happy mm -hmm. with that big of a tip. I don't know. I think most people people are happy if they just got a tip at all anymore because yeah, people are bad tippers. But this isn't true. This isn't. If if we go on about tips, I'll go off and and why? Because tips are stupid. That it's inspected that we tip people. That's stupid. They should just get paid. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to pay them a tip. I should pay them a tip because I want to. True. It's called a tip. Yeah. Like I said, we could go on forever. Yeah, we could. I mean, uh, he'll have... Good Don't get points. me wrong. I worked for tips, so I get it, but... I mean, I, I know a lot of people who work for tips. I mean, he could probably say some things... I know tons of people that work for tips. He, he, can, he can probably say some things that I can agree with, and he'll say, I'll say things he might agree with. But overall, man, tips, if since we have to tip... Right. You know. It's, it's the you have to part. It's like, it's, it's like, why don't you just charge me for my food then? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's a way for a company. Did you know that you had to tip at, or it, it's recommended that you tip at Sonic? Yeah, it's always on there to tip, but like, I don't no know. No one does. No one does. It's like five, they get paid 525 starting out, yeah. which is pretty bad. And no one tips at Sonic. But I usually go through the drive through at Sonic, so I'm like, I'm not going to tip for a drive through. Like, gotcha. Alrighty, our next story is about technology. Good. I so we can we can we can go straight into the technology after this one, uh, but we have uh, Tyler Skluzik. I cannot say his name. That's a good try. Though. Probably good. Solid try. Uh, he's a student at the McAllister College in Saint Paul, Minnesota. He has been working to make sure veterans are able to sleep soundly. A lot of the soldiers uh, or veterans have most of them suffer with PTSD, so they can't really sleep well. So this is where uh, he, he was able to, which is one of your favorite things, taking a smartphone mm -hmm. and a smart watch, mm -hmm. um, and it would prevent night terrors. So it was inspired by his father, who was uh, an I Iraqi war veteran. Um, so he hopes to make this app uh, easily accessible to all veterans who need it. Uh, he's, they're pretty much saying that the 21-year-old, he called it My Bibby. Um, let's see here. With using the smartphone technology, the app monitors a veteran's heartbeat and movement as he or she sleeps to track the symptoms that precede night terrors. At the onset of these behaviors, the app will vibrate and make a sound to disrupt the deep sleep, by, but allow the veteran to keep resting. Cool. This is cool. That's a great idea, yeah. The slight vibration to um, get you out of your deep sleep. I mean, it's like those alarms that, like, um, they like slowly start to wake you up that mm -hmm. way like it doesn't just jolt you out of your deep sleep. It's a great idea. I like it. I, I like that they're using the vibrate to kind of like wake you up slightly, but not like completely wake you up. It's like it's those alarms really that aren't that loud and they grow steadily to wake you out, wake you up, you know? So it's not like a shock and it hits you and you're like waking up. So I, I don't know why they didn't have a Kickstarter on this one. Because he didn't need to. It's just an app. You just want to make the app, right? I mean, you oh, have any smart watch. He right? has one right here. 
explains in the Kickstarter video. So he has a Kickstarter video. Um, so I think this is actually kind of cool. Um, it's really cool, but like, I don't know, it's weird to be on Kickstarter because like, are there that many veterans on Kickstarter who are going to, you know what I mean? I mean, like, I don't know if, what the demographic is of people on Kickstarter that are going to actually, yeah. support, you know what I mean? I mean, if I was, if I was more of the type of, you know, my father came back from the war and this is what he suffers with, or my husband, sure. or my wife. I'm not saying it's not a good thing. I'm just saying like, it's a, it's a weird thing. It, it's something that more like you would see like on Indiegogo or GoFundMe. Cause like on Kickstarter, like it's set up in such a way that people are expecting to like get the product they're supporting. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, they have, like, tons of rewards. I'm sure he yeah. has something worked out for anyone who doesn't actually, like, suffer from this. It's just interesting that he would do it on Kickstarter instead of somewhere that's more like a uh, just give me give money for this cause kind of site. Or, or an association with the VA or something of that nature. Yeah. I don't know. I'd probably do it not associated with the VA, but that's just me. This is you, yeah. So. But, I mean, it seems pretty successful. I mean, I've read, for my math homework, I had to do a lot of the percentages from VA. And to check, you know, who, how many males, how many females, and then find a percentage of it. And so, you know, to see the numbers of how many people have a, that are on disability, that come back from the war, are mm -hmm. pretty high. Uh, and a lot of them came from, like, Vietnam. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's kind of cool to see someone actually paying attention for now and wanting to build something up and create to stop uh, and, and to help people out who have served our country. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. You know what else is hot? What's that? The sun. Yes. The sun's very hot. Not right now. No. Well, it is still hot. It I is mean, still hot. The sun doesn't get cooler during the winter time. It's like 93 it's trillion still... degrees. No. No. It's It's like somewhere in the range of like 15 to 20,000 Celsius. No, that's not right. 15. I, I know this because I heard it earlier, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. The point is the sun's hot. But the sun also has a hole in it. A hole where? It has a hole. What kind of hole? A, a big coronal a rabbit hole. hole. No, it's not a rabbit hole. We have a rabbit hole. It has a big hole that, that shoots out solar flares. Okay. Normally, they just go out the poles. It still messes with us. Uh, it had one about a week or so ago that um, did not go out of one of the poles. It went out kind of right at us. And uh, there's a lot of electrical storms. And uh, if you were trying to like use your GPS a week or so ago and you're like, this thing is all messed up. Or like today, you know, it takes a while for solar flares to get here. So yeah. like, you know, if there's a lot of weird GPS stuff going on like the last week, next week. Really? Uh, it's probably the sun's fault. This is, that's weird. Yeah, those geomagnetic storms, they, they mess up everything. I'm sure someone's listening to this storm right now. You just explained this all wrong. I know. I know. I'm sorry that we're a week behind the solar flare happening. I, I had and no that idea. I'm explaining the way it impacts the earth probably terribly not perfect but basically a solar flare also makes like you know the northern lights yeah it helps with that effect suppose they thought this is how big it was they thought that you'd be able to see them all the way down to philadelphia you couldn't they didn't quite make it there but they were like saying that you'd probably be able to see them down to philadelphia maybe even further south that'd be cool oh uh, yeah that would have been really cool if you could have been like sitting in your backyard and be like i'm just sitting out here enjoying you know the weather and then like boom you see all the northern lights uh, that would be really sweet. Didn't make it down quite that Jeez. far. But, uh... It's amazing how those things affect us. Yeah. Like, uh, especially... Like, when you think about the moon affecting the tide, that just blows my mind. Yeah, the, if we didn't have the moon, the tide would be gone and all the fish would die. And It's amazing. I don't know if all the fish would die. They'd probably be okay. It, it would just really mess up the whole ocean, though. The It'd filter... I mean... It'd be like know, a swimming pool. Everything on the ocean would not work like it's supposed to. Isn't that weird just because of the moon? It, I don't know. You can probably space is weird. You can probably correct me, but I think they they tried to make weather in a confined area, so they were able to make like rain. The only thing they couldn't make was wind. Yeah, so wind's the, hard. So the trees would like bend, you know, sideways because you know they couldn't create wind, and that's what makes a tree right, strong. That's what makes I thought tree that was, stronger. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, the space is weird. Space is very weird. It's strange. It's funny how things work together. It's just yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. Don't get me started. Yeah, man, you're smarter than I am. Space is strange. You know what's so strange? What's that? Taking breaks. But we're going to take one of no, those. That's fine. We're going to take a break, then we're going to come back, and um, we're going to have a little chat. We're going to have a little chat, Chris.
It's about having chats. Yeah. No, it's not a bad chat. Okay. We just have a little chat. All right, good. So don't go away, guys. We'll be right back.